Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Donovan Cole and in this video I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way that you can dodge and burn hair in your fashion images. Okay, so dodge and burn is like my favorite technique ever because there's so many different things that you can do with dodge and burn and I mostly use it to retouch skin and I also use it to enhance highlights and shadows in the hair if I want to. So I'm actually going to set up my dodge and burn layers right now and I use curve adjustment layers to do that. So I'm just going to come to the bottom of my layers panel and make one curve adjustment layer and I'll just make a point directly in the middle. And I do have my input and output values set to very specific numbers. So my input is 110 and my output is 146. And that puts this point up on the graph, which makes my image brighter. And I'm going to invert this by hitting Command or Control I. And just to stay organized, which is always good to do, uh, I'm just going to name this layer Dodge. And I'm going to make one more curve adjustment layer and make a point in the middle. And I'm gonna use the same numbers, but I'm gonna flip flop them. So my input value is going to be 146 and my output is going to be 110. And this will darken the image by moving the point down on the graph. And this is going to be my burn layer. So I'm just gonna invert that and I'll just name this burn. And I'm just gonna put these layers into a group by holding down shift and clicking on my dodge layer and command or control G will create a group for you. And I'm just gonna name this group dodge and burn hair. Cool. And I'm gonna open those up and I do like to do all of my dodging and burning in black and white. So I'm just gonna set up my helper layers really quick. And I do that by choosing a solid color adjustment layer choosing the color black and changing the blend mode of this layer to color. And hold on, let me drag this out of that dodge and burn group. And then I make another curve adjustment layer on top of my black and white layer. And I use this layer for um, adding contrast to my image so I can see the darker areas and the lighter areas. And that really helps, especially when you're dodging and burning hair because you want to be able to really see the highlights and shadows within the hair. And so I'm just gonna close that out and I'll make a group out of these two. Hold down shift and click command or control G to group and I'll just name this help. Next I'm going to choose my brush that I use mostly for dodging and burning and I keep that in my tool presets. I keep those over here. If you cannot find your tool presets then you can come up to window and scroll down to tool presets and I've made a few. I don't use a whole lot of tools really and I'll probably just choose my um, 2% flow brush that I use mostly for dodging and burning. Next I'm going to add a bit of contrast to this image and I usually do this by pulling this um, top right hand point. This is your white point that affects your highlights and I normally make another point somewhere in this area and just drag down until about, about right there. I don't want to make it too dark because then I'm not really going to be able to see um, in the shadow areas that I, you know, want to burn in and make it a little bit darker. So this looks fine right here. Close this out. And I'm going to start by dodging. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus on the highlights in the hair and kind of just go around and enhance those. So I'm going to rotate my image some and try to figure out exactly where I want to start. And my brush is always going to constantly change depending on the area that I'm working on. And I don't want to do anything um, too extreme for right now. And it might not look like I'm really doing much of anything. But um, what we're going to do here in just a second is going to make all the difference. So just go around and any highlights that you see, just sort of do a few brush strokes over them. And this is really going to add some volume to the hair in your images. And I do this a lot with um, most of my images. I love dodging and burning. I use it all the time. And it's really cool to use on the hair, especially because of um, this little trick that I learned. There's probably other ways to do this, but this is just one of the ways that I found out through trial and error, just playing around in Photoshop and retouching photos. So while I'm doing this, um, 
This model is the lovely Alexis, who is amazing, and she actually just moved to um, Arizona. So I'm kind of glad that I got to photograph her before she left. This was a fun shoot. I actually shot this in her house. So I actually brought over this backdrop and studio lights and a beauty dish and we set up shop and I took her picture and this is how they turned out. I really do feel like I do much better work when my picture is upside down for some reason. If you hear my computer breathing really heavy, I'm sorry. Because I'm recording my screen, so I'm working it to death. Alright, I'll touch up a few here. And, um... I'll do some down here really quick. Normally I would take my precious sweet time with this, but I don't want to make this super, super long. So I'm actually, I'm just going to um, go up to my burn layer and I'm going to burn in some of these darker areas over here. And it probably still doesn't look like I've done much of anything, but Hold on for just a second and I will show you something kind of cool. All right, and I'll do this. And this is pretty cool to kind of, you know, enhance those streaks in her hair. Look at this guy right here. And get right into there. Cool. You can also use this to um, you can like darken her glasses a lot more, add some drama, some mood. I'm all about some mood. This is probably one of my favorite sets that I have um, ever photographed. I don't know, these are just different for me. And she's a really, really good model, so she gave me a lot of pictures to work with. It was really hard to choose, so I ended up. I actually retouched a lot of these pictures. And I'm still on my burn mask and I'm just hitting up these darker areas of the hair. And I'll do a few more probably around here. I think I might go back to my dodge and kind of get some of these highlights up here. I feel like I forgot them. If I did, yeah, I will. And I'm going to do just this last one. I'll go back to my burn and I'll get in here a few more times. I actually don't know if I enhanced any of these over top of her glasses. Really be careful with, especially if you're trying to um, do anything on the hair that's over top of her face. So make sure that your brush size is right about the size of the area that you're working on. So none of it kind of spills over onto her skin or anything. Cool. All right. I'm going to hit my R key and I'm going to reset this. And I'm just going to fit this to the screen. And it... Probably still looks like I didn't do anything at all, but I'm going to do a before and after of this entire group um, in black and white. So this is before and this is after. That's before and that's after. So it's pretty subtle. And um, this really cool trick that I learned is I kind of want to um, make these a little bit more enhanced because I can tell by turning this on and off, it didn't really do a whole lot. 
and but I also don't want it to be too extreme so this is what I like to do I'm gonna select my dodge layer and I'm actually going to make a copy of this twice so hit command J to copy and I'm gonna do that one more time and then I'm gonna do the same thing with my burn layer I'm just gonna make two copies of this now I'm going to do a before and after of the entire group and that looks pretty cool so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna zoom out some and do another before and after of this but this um, might be too strong for some of you so you can actually just lower this opacity of the entire group and I'll probably knock that down to about 60% or so no maybe about 50 I think 50 would look good there we go that's perfect and that is it. That is um, just one way that I kind of learned just teaching myself on how to dodge and burn the hair super, super fast. So just do um, one dodge layer, one burn layer, do a pretty quick sweep over it, and just make copies of those layers. And um, it's always best to kind of, I guess, overdo it because you can lower the opacity of the entire group and get the look that you want. And that is actually going to be it for this video. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and be sure to check me out on Instagram. I will have the link in the description below. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.